U of L today with Mark Hebert on Great Day Live is sponsored by the University of Louisville. At least one group of U of L students didn't spend their spring break in Destin or Fort Lauderdale. They spent it on the Civil Rights Trail in Alabama and Memphis. And that is U of L's MLK scholars. They were following in the footsteps of Martin Luther King Jr. Mark Hebert has details, and I am sure it was powerful. It was very powerful for these students. They, they are MLK scholars, Martin Luther King Jr. scholars, and they are in this program. They get their scholarship to move towards uh, social reform and social justice issues. And when they're sophomores in that program, they take them all down to the Civil Rights Trail down in Alabama, and they go to Memphis where Martin Luther King Jr. was shot. And it was a very powerful, moving educational experience for these uh, young folks. So let's take a look. For the eight MLK scholars and four U of L staff members, this was a different kind of spring break trip, following Martin Luther King Jr.'s footsteps, a civil rights trail to Selma, Birmingham, Montgomery, and Memphis. It's meant to really uh, bring together the, all the experiences that the students had throughout their King Scholar experience, um, including uh, living in a, in, a, in a living learning community together, service living learning community together, um, taking social justice and peace courses, um, being active, uh, doing service work in the community, and really seeing how Dr. King um, was a direct example of what is being reflected in the program through these very meaningful experiences. It was great, probably the highlight of my un undergraduate career so far. Jacob Markert is a sophomore MLK scholar from Louisville. He was particularly moved by one of the first stops on the trip, Selma, Alabama, where in 1965, hundreds of marchers were beaten by police but persisted to start a three-day, 54-mile march to the Alabama Capitol. The Edmund Pettus Bridge and definitely walking across that, um, especially having just seen Selma before we arrived, it was definitely powerful. Just to imagine all the people on the bridge and how the past connects with the future and the present and how, I don't know, everything's connected definitely kind of hit me right there. The U of L students made it to Montgomery as well, to the Capitol steps in the National Civil Rights Museum. But it was at the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, where in 1963, a terrorist bomb killed four little girls, that the group got emotional, really feeling the anguish and struggle from a half century ago, long before they were born. I could sense that there was a, there was a, a shift in the students at that point, that they wanted to do something to ensure something uh, like that never happened again in the, in the name of hate. It was a very good experience. Um, I think that in a lot of ways, you know, we were all kind of moved by it. You know, we were all very shocked at what we saw and what we learned, and we all, you know, had emotional moments. Like, you know, at 16th Baptist Church, you know, that was very emotional in Birmingham. Um, and so we all just, it was a way for us to build solidarity amongst our cohort and also it was a way for us to find inspiration in what we're doing now. A lot of the people that we learned about in the museums and stuff were just, I guess what you would consider ordinary people and a vast majority of them are not in textbooks. So seeing how these people still made a difference kind of helped me to see how I can make a difference and gave me a greater sense of what I'm supposed to do. So definitely I would try to be more involved on campus. We want our students to, to through this culminating experience, uh, go forward in their final two years at the University of Louisville and be leaders on this campus, and then hopefully be leaders in the, the, the community and then national and global leaders. And the interesting thing those students told me is they had never been to Alabama. Uh, most of them, you know, had not been on the Civil Rights Trail, and they mm. had never been to, uh, you know, where Martin Luther King Jr. was shot in, in Memphis, Tennessee, and they said it was a very moving experience. They came back with a renewed attitude that they've got to do something in this world, which is the whole okay. idea. And a lot, of, a lot of those people are still alive who marched. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's within the reach of our lifetime, right. and, it's, and they have stories to tell. I'm glad these kids are interested. So in them. powerful yeah, to trace those, those footsteps. It and is. I know you have other things, too, that well, are coming the, up. Yeah, the entrepreneurship program program at the uh, University of Louisville is a terrific program and it produces a lot of really good students. They come up with ideas and products and how to market those products and they go into these competitions. Well, the last competition we just won was called the Idea State U competition, which is a competition among all these teams from colleges and universities across Kentucky. It's a $25,000 prize and the U of L team won and it's the Move Me app which apparently somehow links uh, partners to work out together, like me and you, Rachel, uh, uh, based on she say, how I much. Need to yeah, use the yeah time. Uh, he's a really hard workout person. Rachel's not, so you know that, hey, that, would, that would not me. that would not be a good match. <laughs> 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 but, but anyway, so they won, and they'll go on to some national competitions. Well, and congrats had, to them. Yeah, it is congrats to them. And I so. love that with that, like you said, moving and history and, and learning what Very they're good. doing. Yeah, Thank cool. you so much. You have held today it. with Mark Hebert Ayers, Mondays and Tuesdays on 93.9 FM on Metro TV, Monday through Friday, and then Thursdays at 5 on KET. Find more about L online at louisville.edu. We'll be right back.